guys, welcome to Monday. It is school. It's school again. Yeah. So <laughs> it is. It is school. Welcome to today. Sam is back at work and it's freaking glorious outside. So, so glorious. Welcome to today. Getting the urge to fill up this stall, you guys. I want to bring my horses home. But yeah, it is, it's muddy. I want to see my cat. But I do. Move, move, I just want to bring them home. Anyway, good morning. We have a busy day today. We have a lot going on. And I thought we were going to do a lot more during spring break. But Sam worked. And then it just turned out that we were, were lazy. It's true. We were lazy and we did nothing. <laughs> but it was fun. We still had fun. Having the grandkids over, I know I was like always complaining about how much work it is. But it is so fun. That's why I do it. That is why I do it. It's so fun, but when they go home and you have time to just like sit and do nothing, that's really fun too. Sophie's already out playing. I feel the sun. I feel some cleaning up happening today. It's sunny, you guys. It feels so good to be able to clean this back part of the arena that was frozen previously. Little tiny bit frozen still, but all the poop is free. Oh, it feels so good. coats so they'd be fresh and clean and now I'm gonna go brush my horse before she goes outside today because she was rolling so there goes on my wash job it will be gone you guys hi pen <laughs> she actually does not look that bad hi just a little bit of dirt yeah there we go the eye oh. so you know what's funny is when I bought Penny the, her old owner, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful person, said to me, give me a few minutes when I'm done my thing. She had something that she had to do. And she said, give me like a few minutes so I can get her cleaned up. I didn't think much of it until you now I have Penny and I realize she needs minutes to get cleaned up every morning. <laughs> every morning. And she loves her little hair brushed, her mane. You know, when you're a princess, you need to get beautified every morning before you go outside. Clearly, not everyone is a princess. Well, Willow <laughs> tries to run through me when that door opens. Oh, Penny loves it. So, so, someone made a really nice observation and said they didn't think that Penny clear. They didn't think that Gracie liked going first. And I believe in that because. She doesn't like going, let's try her going last. Let's just see what happens. Gabby doesn't like her horse going last. She ha her horse has to be the leader. Um, you guys need to move out of the way. How about Willow try to go last? You go, beautiful lady. <laughs> I got no more carrots. Okay. Beautiful, sleek body. <laughs> She stops at me, she stops at Sophie. She's like, I'll just stop and see if I get treats. Winter is rough, they all were sleeping last night. Uh oh, see, we messed up their order and it did not work. No, Sophia gave them carrots. Yeah, giving them out. carrots is not a good idea. Get out. Go. <laughs> Go. Go. No, like move. Move. Good girl. Good girl. Get out there. You're Get okay. Come on. No carrots today. Even though we have 50 pounds. Hold on. Let's just get all this stuff off of you. You should have had a brush too. Wow. Look at you. Oh my goodness. But your hair be looking cute. It's all about the hair. See if she'll roll. You got to brush her off too. Not in the mud. Come on, come on, come on. 
Let her roll and then stand by her. Let her roll because we've been trying to catch a horse rolling. <laughs> Got the carrot? Got the carrot, Sophie? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got there first. You were going so slow. She was closer to you. <laughs> I know. Good girl. Give her the carrot. I don't have a carrot. <laughs> don't have a carrot. So uh, part that's part of like learning. Let me go grab a carrot. And <laughs> She's not gonna roll again. Are you gonna roll again? See, if you brush your horse in the morning before they come out, they don't roll. Or at least they don't think they roll. Or at least it makes it more less likely. Oh, this one really. It's fuzzy. Come here, let me just brush you. Oh my goodness. kids riding horses on the weekend uh, you guys should go check that out it was amazing and the reason why it was so amazing is one Brooklyn that just hops on her pony and rides away into the sunset like it's like get off of me leave me Whoa. what was that jump but Brooklyn so brave and she's so brave but not only that but our ponies like Gracie and Penny have not really been ridden a whole ton this winter and here they are we plucked them out of the arena and took them outside and took little kids around on them and they literally like nailed it like Gracie especially like Penny too she was awesome but Gracie used to be like a wild little pony and man she's just killing it as a kid's pony. I almost had a heart attack with Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> when she jumped the jump. I don't know if it got it, but she like really jumped the jump, didn't she? She leaped over it because she was about to stop. And she realized I was walking away, so she just leaped. <laughs> That's funny. And this one won't leave me alone. Yeah, you're such a cute pony. I love the really early spring days when we're down here early doing chores and I'm able to rake. Like rake up little bits at a time while the while the ground dries. It's fantastic. I love spring. I hate spring. Spring is my least favorite season. You know why? Because of the wet. I hate the wet. Because it's hard on animals, it's hard on kids, it's hard on your house. It's hard on all the things that women are responsible for. <laughs> I hate the spring. But late spring is, is nice. Fall is my favorite. Comment below. What is your favorite season and why? It is. Did you start school? No. No. Sophie took the long way around the car. I still I, all the way around. I told you, I will never ever honk the horn at you again. Well, I don't trust. I, I am a trustworthy person. Anyways, we're headed to the store because <laughs> really? what do we need, Gabby? What can we not start school without? What can we not live without, Gabby? Something so important, you guys. Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, it's true. We're going for Fruit Loops because you cannot have a good day without Fruit Loops, you guys. You and just I'm cannot. And I'm going to be the one running in. And Sophie's our shopper. So Gabby and I will stay in the car. <laughs> and Sophie will go shop for us. Oh my gosh, you guys. Today is the very first day that you don't have to shop with masks. So we're outside the grocery store. And so far, I've seen two people go in and both of them have masks. And I think Sophie has a mask on because I forgot to remind her. But yeah, no masks in Ontario now. Sophie wore a mask. Why'd you wear a mask? Huh? Ta-da! We're back in business! The barn looks so good. Everything's like all spotless and clean. And most exciting. A fin! Is that the back door is open. At least partially open. The back door is partially open and the arena is almost... Well, it's there. <laughs> we have a little bit of snow still, but it's disappearing and like... This is hope, you guys. This is hope. Like, it's getting better. It's getting better and spring is coming. It's so beautiful in here again. Sam set up a new grain station. Since we have three horses here, 
each of us picked a horse. I picked this guy. He's my new horse. Hi, hi guy. <laughs> we're so excited to come because we missed today. I swear, horses know. Anyway, I am shedding Chino. None of our horses grew a big, huge coat. None of them, not even Finn. Which is weird, because they're outside all the time. And uh, Penny and the girls are inside at night, and they they have a lot of hair there that's coming off. Hi, handsome. He's like, yeah, you guys are back. <laughs> Hi. He's huge, like look at my head and his head. Let's do a little drive-by. We'll start right here with Gabby. So I asked Gabby if she wants me to help her, and she said no, but I can appreciate how much work she's done because if you see the neck, it just looks mildly dirty. It did not look like that when she brought him in. But it's the feet. Oh, I have to pick Chino's feet. And when you have long hair and horses, it's the most annoying thing because every time you try and pick their feet, your hair falls in your face. It's so awful. I did Chino. I'm already all done. I just have to pick his feet. I did a fantastic job. Don't poop again. I did all his legs. I mean, you can still see dirt on them. Oh my man, what the heck? But I scrubbed them and scrubbed them. Two stalls down. Sophie is working on Finn and Brandon. <laughs> Brandon is helping too. Oh my gosh, what happened to his mane? I don't know. Brandon, there's a problem with Finn's mane. It's shorter up here and longer down. Well, it's actually level when it's straight. It's level when it's straight? He's got that wave in it. Yeah, he has well, wavy hair. That's why you have to be really careful when you cut his hair. That's why. You have to say, Laura, I'm cutting your horse's hair and I would have given you some clues. <laughs> some hints. Stop it off. And Brandon finally did his bridle path. Bridle path looks so it good. Like, yeah. It's okay, Finn. We and still love you. You have hair in your eye? Yeah. We still love you even though you got a haircut and it was a bad haircut. We all know. Mm -hmm. Something in your eye and then you rub your face and you've been... Uh -huh, it's it's hair probably. And then you rub your face, then you get dark dirt all over your... Pace, look at it. We took like, what, Any half more. an ounce off his belly? Yeah, we need more. It's still dirty. All right, I'll help, Sophie. I'll help do his legs. It's times like this when I'm excited that I chose the dark pony. I'm gonna show you guys something crazy. This is a horse that's light colored and doesn't care if it gets dirty. So this side's cleaner than the other side, Soph. I always do the scratch test to make sure that he's been brushed. It's all soft. He's just all mud. And then over here is a light colored horse that does not like to get dirty. Like look at that you guys. Does not like to get dirty. Horses are getting their massage after riding lessons today. So we should groom them up nice and good. Get them all fancy for our nice massage girl. I sent Sophie back to rebrush the beast and he looks a little better now. I mean, he still looks he still looks rough. I'm taught it today because I'm on a hill. So if he's on a hill, I feel spring in the air. So we've gotten really fancy. Everything's gone from the arena, just two poles. So, Still searching for a pony for her. Sophie. I don't think she brushed his tail. This has been such a good year for me, you guys. This year alone, I've learned about feet and I've learned about diet, horse diet and nutrition. I've done most of my learning from Chino. And so the thing I've been learning about feet is how to treat feet before they get, like in mud season, they get all sorts of bacteria in their feet and it can like cause cracks and and it can cause like so many problems, things that don't even make them lame, but just cause them like to feel uncomfortable or to cause more cracks that could eventually lead to lameness. So I've learned how to like kill the bacteria and then I've learned how to treat them to prevent bacteria from getting in. Like I'm turning into the horse hoof woman, you guys. I also learned about how- almost dying three times today. Yeah, Sophie almost died three times today, it's true. I've literally treated all three of our horses' feet. Actually, I have to do gray pin. And it's made such a massive difference. I notice a huge difference. Like, they're from, like, it's just unbelievable. If you have mud in your, in your field 
and that there's bacteria, then just know that there are stuff, there are things in the market that you can use. Just spray their feet and it can make the world of difference for them, prevent so many issues. I was walking down her along here and then he stopped and I realized that he had his head stuck in here and he grabbed a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> we donated 50 pounds of carrots. <laughs> yeah. All right. <sighs> so, <laughs> did you count the one I gave him? No, no, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Here, pull him, pull him back. Make him back up. Last night, I hardly slept because we hadn't seen the horses in three days. I was so stressed out and worried. <laughs> Oh my god. This is oops. Oops. And he got a carrot. And you're eating it wrong. Oh still my god. Get your butt. Alright, are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, I don't mind taking Chino. <laughs> Let's see if Chino stops to grab a carrot. Let's see if they all stop to grab a carrot. Chino's need to stop you. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, Grayson. Yeah, he need he's had no, he needs his vitamin grain still. So our our massage. Take one too. <laughs> I'm coming. Everyone's taking one. Oh, look at how much respectful no, he take is. No, take one. Take one. <laughs> what did he take? <laughs> he was supposed Sophia. to take one. Well, I think he can take one. All right, let's go. Let's go. You saw all the other horses do it. Just one, okay? Just one. <sighs> Just one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sam, help. Oh, good boy. Oh, he had more than one. Oh. Come on, let's go get supper. And I feel so much better today, like knowing that they're good. Once the weather gets warm, I think like and the mud clears up a bit and the water's gone. <laughs> oh, I can see we'll start to come more often now. Our horses are feeling good though and doing really well. Hello, handsome dude. We all, Sophie and I came. Gabby's still dealing with the other horses. <laughs> we came to see him, our, see our boy. Echo, you're so annoying. Oh man. Yeah, whenever you bring carrots for one horse, they all want it. There you go. Every time we drive by, we open the window and we say goodbye, Stormy. And he always looks like he knows. Sophie used to ride that horse. There you go. There you go. Carrots for you. Yeah. We love you. We love you, handsome. Yeah. Next time we're here, maybe we'll bring you in and give you a good brush, even though he gets brushed all the time. Oh, echo. Yeah. We love you, handsome. Man, it's incredible how, like, one horse can just make your heart so happy. The thing I love the most about Storm, our, our horse Storm, is I have hair everywhere is that he literally takes care of whoever he loves he like literally takes care of them so so our horses also have rain sheets on our horses all have insulated rain sheets on and it's because even though like it's a bit warm it's still chilly at night and in the morning and it gets warmer in the day and Storm will tell us if it gets bad weather, if he gets too hot, he takes off his blankets. But all of our horses, when I checked them today, they all were warm, just like normal temperature, not even hot. We love you, big boy. We love you. Yeah, you're okay. So, seven horses, you guys. We have seven horses. Seven? Or eight? Seven horses? It's Monday. Today's Monday. Seven horses. We have seven horses and it's a good day when every single seven horses are moving well, feeling well, have no problems. Yeah, that's the kind of day I'm it is. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are